Alexander Emelianenko is 25, 6'5", 259 pounds, 5 and 2 in Pride Fighting Championships. 191 cm, 191 Dislocated his shoulder, he was well picked by many to be the next challenger for Fedor Emelianenko's world heavyweight title. Tonight he makes his return against Fedor's not so little younger brother. And uh, we'll have to wait and see if he can get through this obstacle first. All right, fans, you can batten down the hatches and lock those doors. We could be treated to one of the most memorable MMA wars. These guys love to slug it out. Wasting little time in doing so. I was going to deal as though, as, as the fight progresses, he'll start to drop his jab hand. In this case, his left hand. He'll start dropping down around his waist. Nice right hand there by Emelianenko. And you see immediately Heratonov going for that single leg. Now in the... Body lock. Milianenko, though, for a guy 6'5", 259 pounds, I mean, he floats around that ring. His foot movement, his foot speed is unbelievable. Both these guys, they're incredible foot speed and great motion. And it's amazing to see guys this size. I'm still in amazement seeing guys how big they are, moving their feet as quick as they do. Both of them also with a background in Sambo. Nice left jab there, tagging Herotanov by Emelianenko. So if they do go to the ground, of course, they do have those submission skills as well as that right hand met its target. Wow. You look at Alexander, he's starting to relax a little bit more because now he's knowing his straight punches are starting to land. He's taking his time, he's relaxing, his shoulders are dropped down, his arms are a little bit looser. It, it's, it's, it's when you start getting that feeling, you know he's starting to tag your opponent. You will relax and it makes it easier to fight. Nice. Left again by Heratonov, or make that a million ankle on Heratonov, but not following up, just a single shot there, Trig. Now he's starting to, starting to connect with all these jabs. I'd like to see him start throwing some rights right behind it. Heratonov, one of the best boxers in MMA. Some crisp combinations. I think he is the best body puncher in Pride Fighting Championships. Maybe Takanori Gomi would have something to say about that, but for a heavyweight, he's he's tremendous. And he throws him in punch and in bunches when he throws the body body punch. There, uh, he definitely throws four or five, you know, four or five punches to the body all at one time as we had a quick mouth, mouthpiece break. You can see Emelianenko circling away, bouncing up and down on the balls of his feet. Nice inside low leg kick there by Heratonov, and there's a jab. Oh, oh, oh no. staggered Emelianenko. Great job, right to the full mount. He kept improving his position, looking to bring his hips up high, and it slid right to the mount. He stopped him in his tracks with that straight right hand, and now with the full mount on Emelianenko, Sergei Heratonov. We saw him make his debut in Pride Fighting Championships of the very first Bushido, submitting an outclass Jason Nobunaga. We know he's got submission skills, and now an opportunity to maybe Test that ground and pound technique. Sergey's got to take his right hand and punch. He needs to take his left hand and put it between his body and, and uh, Alexander's face and get some separation. Now start to punch. Start to punch right now. Don't let. Don't. You can't let him tie up on you like this because all you're gonna be able to do unless you're gonna go to a submission. If, you, if you're gonna let let the bottom guy tie up on you like this, you have to go to submission. Sit up. Get some punching. That's what you want to do in this spot if you're a striker. Of course, Emelianenko, the bigger of the two fighters on the bottom. That may be his proverbial ace in the hole here, but a great mount by Heratonov. Although it's up to him now from this offensive position as you see the referee, or make sure, uh, sorry, hear the referee say action. And those are the uh, commands you will be hearing throughout the night by the officials. Calling for action when the there is a lull in the action. Let's see if that Sambo comes into play here now as Heratonov up on his base. Emelianenko trying to stay in the active guard at the bottom there. 
Nice long punching from here because he's keeping his hips. He's keeping his hips back just a little bit too far. Um, Hartanov is. He needs to bring his hips in a little bit so he can get a little more get a little more power on those punches. He's a little head heavy, a little chest heavy right here. And Hartanov leaking a bit in the face as well, but Emilian Nickel will try to exploit that. Back to the close guard, inactive close guard. He's not. Uh, he's got nose of close, but he's not really doing anything with it. Four and a half minutes gone of the opening round. The Battle of Russia, Russian top teams, Sergei Herbatonov and the Red Devil Fight Clubs, Alexander Emelianenko. So Man, I'm, a, up. I'm uh, 0 for 2 tonight, by the way, Trig. Uh, you know, you, you do your homework, we uh, interview the fighters. They say that it's going to be a stand-up war, striking, and then these guys go and take it to the ground on me. No, but that's what mixed martial arts is all about, and really that's what separates MMA from the sport of boxing and such, is that it definitely, and there you see the referee after calling for action twice, finally issuing a yellow card to both fighters. And again, Drake, uh, tell the fans at home, maybe watching Pride for the first time, about the Pride card system and what the yellow card uh, stands for. Let me tell you what the Pride uh, yellow card stands for, 10% purse reduction. Every Which should be motivation those, enough to yeah. stay busy. It's, it's a stalling card. If you're not doing enough action, they give you a stalling card, but they also take 10% of the time to show it. So. And also for rule infractions like holding the rope or whatever's deemed illegal, but you're right, they did. And you can see, see, now they pick it up. They pick up the pace in the stand-up. You can see some discoloration there in the left, left, left leg, leg yeah. inside, and he goes back to it. Does Heratonov doing a good job of exploiting? Man, that's a nasty welt there on Emelianenko's leg. I didn't see the, the kick that caused that earlier, but you can actually see the toe imprints. Now, of course, we have the best seats in the house here right at ringside. You can see that Emelianenko wants to engage. Heratonov backs away. Maybe starting to frustrate Emelianenko a little bit. Of course, the true Russian fighters never showing much in terms of emotion. There's a left hand, finds its target. See, early, early, it was it was uh, uh, Emelianenko picking apart Hartanov, and Hartanov's picking apart Emelianenko. Wow, and you could see that Emelianenko had a knee. He wanted to send to Hartanov's face. Hartanov able to back away. Emelianenko misses with the left. Hartanov shoots out a jab. And you could see there taking that deep breath. And again, one thing we should mention to the fans, Emelianenko's never made it past the second round. He's never had to fight past the second round. And as we now go to the six minute mark, and oh. now Hiratanov challenges him and Emelianenko delivers. Oh my goodness, he challenged him twice and he's rocked. His knees went a little bit wobbly as he fell to the ground. He's in a bad spot right here. Hiratanov's in a really bad way right now because he, he, uh, you can't see from this position, but the second when he waved, Emelianenko in, Emelianenko hit him with another, with another straight left. Heratonov doing nothing to defend these strikes. The left hands, the knees, he, how much more is the referee gonna allow? He's unintelligibly defending That's himself. Done. Oh my goodness. He's, he's, he's not okay, I know he's saying he's okay, I know he's saying he wants to fight. The ref did a great job stepping in and stopping this fight. There's six, no way Six minutes, 45 seconds, and the Tattooed Alexander Emelianenko delivering some tattoos in the forms of those vicious left hands and knee strikes. And I don't know what Sergei Heratonov was thinking by challenging the bull like that, showing that red flag. He was definitely trying to, you know, trying to lure him in so he threw a bad punch to be able to take him down and get on top. You know, Hartanov wanted to get to the ground and get in a better position. He was losing the stand-up battle at that point of the fight and wanted to take the fight back over in his own hands. Obviously a disappointed Sergei Heratanov, but uh, wondering if he shouldn't be disappointed with himself in, again, openly challenging